Hi everyone, this is a second vid for the Laws of Logs pack, second lesson, sorry, first vid. Um, and do you remember me saying last lesson that all logs is, is just the power? And that's what it says there. People get really hung up on logs, but it isn't dead easy. So they've got this example here that if you know that 2 cubed is 8, I can use this thing called log to base 2 of 8 is 3. Now I do a slightly different example. So I might say that 10 squared I know is 100. So log to base 10 of 100 is 2. So I've got these two different ways of writing the same thing. Now you've got it on your calculator. If I just hang off, wait till you get it. Just run into the desk. Pressing escape. Pressing escape. Still pressing escape. Right, so if I look on the calculator. On my calculator, can you see there's a log? Now, L-O-G log is log to base 10. So if I go into, let's just delete that box so it looks nice. There, so if I press L-O-G and then put a thousand, it should give me three out. Because 10 cubed is a thousand, and log is log to base 10. So originally, the definition of what a log is, is any number can be represented as a power of another number. So log is log to base 10. That's one of the main ones we use. So we'd say that any number can be represented as 10 to the power of. I've got another one, which is ln. Now that ln is actually log to base e. And we use that one a lot, and it just gives us random numbers. Now we've also got somewhere in our calculator a log to base. Now if you look on your calculator screen, it's not on any of those num any of those ones. So it's got to be in, oh, let's try option, uh, calc. I bet it's not there. Oh, here we go, log AB. So option calc and log AB. So that would allow me then, so if I wanted log to base 2, so I'm saying I can write a number as 2 to the power of 8, so I know that 8 is 2 cubed, so it should give me a value of 3 out. Yeah, there we go. All logs is, is just a power. You have a base raised to a power. That's all logs is. Right. So it says, so we're going to rewrite these. So if 2 to the power 4 is 16, so I'm going to use, I'm using this. So that tells me then that log to base 2 of 16 is 4. Now I know that. I know 2 to the power 4 is 16. Really, I should have these little arrows. We should, put, we should be on one line. So there's 2 for you to do, 3 for you to do. So the 7 squared is 49. So log to base, so the 2 there is the base. So that would be log to base 7 of 49. So I know that 49 is 7 squared, so that gives me 2 out as the value of the log. So let me remove this box, and I'll show you what the other ones are. So I know that log to base x of 1 is nothing, and I know that log to base a of c is b. So it's just a matter of putting the numbers in the right place. So this one's using it again, but I'm going backwards. So log to base 3 of 9 is 2. So that tells me that 3, because that's your base, log is the power, because that's your log, or your power, is 9. I know that. So let's have a look at these guys then. So I know that 3 to the power 4 is 81, and 2 to the power of half is the root 2. So let's have what's right down. So 3 to the power 4 is 81. That's what it tells me. 2, so remember it's the base to the log to the power of 
is the other bit. So two to the half, well that's just root two. And then I've got, so the base is x, the power, the log, the answer, the power is there, and that's equal to y. So it's just a case of getting used to putting the numbers in the right place. And you won't like it at first, but if you remember this idea that 2 cubed is 8, so log to base 2 of 8 is 3, or 10 squared is 100, so log to base 10 of 100 is 2, you can travel backwards and forwards. Now then. So if I put this in its alternative form, I'm saying that 3 to the power of 4 is x, and 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So x is 81. So there's one there for you to do. So that's saying that 5 to the power 1 is x. So x must be 5. The messy, try and don't just copy it. So this one says, so this one says then that, that x to the power minus 1 is 8. So that's telling me then that 1 over x is 8. And then if I switch them over, 1 over 8, oops, 1 over 8 is x. And there's one here for you. So x to the power of half is 3. So x to the power of half is 3. So if to get rid of the power of half, I square it, x must be 9. So it's just using those log laws. And as mentioned here, the three main ones are log, which is log to base 10, ln, the natural log, or Neighbourian log, as some people call it, is log to base e, and then you can put your own base into it. Uh, so in general, y is, if y is negative, no, because the log graph, it's actually a reflection of log y equals x of the e to the x graph. It tends to look like that. So we can look. There's nothing here for negatives. So, but we cheat a little bit, as we do in maps. Right, so what I might do is, I'm going to stop there and then I'll start another uh, question. Are these questions for you? Actually, have I got those questions while I'm thinking about it? So this is just use your calculator, isn't it, stuff? So I actually just put it in the calc, but I'm going to stop it now.